Hi, welcome back to In Judy's Kitchen. I'm Judy Walker. And I'm Dia Chaco. And today we're making um, oven fried chicken. So I wish I could remember where I saw this, but I can't. But uh, the prices are really different if you buy skin on chicken and skin off chicken, um, already skinned chicken. And I decided early on in my testing of this recipe that I wanted to make it with the skin off mm -hmm. because I like to eat cold chicken. So, um, this is a neat trick. What you do is you just use a, a hand towel or a dish towel, a of course a clean one, and it just helps the skin come right off there. It's so easy and quick. And then I just use my kitchen shears to trim off any little extra bits of fat, like that. So this is our liquid wash, which starts with a couple of large eggs. And we're gonna, I'm gonna beat that up first, and then I'm gonna add all these other things. I'm gonna add some Dijon mustard, some uh, Louisiana hot sauce, it's not Louisiana brand, it's Crystal, and some honey. And I'm also gonna put salt and pepper in it. So now we're gonna show you how we dip and pat the coating on. These are the pieces of chicken that um, I bought, and actually, you know what I did with the chicken tenders this time, Dia? I bought the whole, just even in there. I bought the um, pieces of chicken and cut the, but bought the breast pieces and went ahead and cut them in half myself. Mm -hmm. One thing I did learn was you, the breast pieces did not have the correct amount of uh, the correct ratio of what I thought needed to be crust. So I came around to the chicken tenderloins and chicken pieces. There's two tricks to this recipe. One is to use a wrap. So it elevates the chicken and the pieces will be crispy on both sides. The other one is right before you stick it in the oven, we're gonna squirt it real lightly with cooking with olive oil spray. And this, believe it or not, helps it crisp up a lot. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to cut into a piece to see if it's done. You can also check it with the thermometer to see if it's 160 degrees. But you can also just cut into a piece and look down in there. Look, that's a thigh, but it's really too pink. Let's cut into a little piece of chicken tender here. Chicken tenders are gonna be done way ahead of time. Look, see, that chicken tender is gonna come off of there right now because it's dry in there and it looks all white, so. Okay, the moment of truth. Mm -hmm. Tell me honestly what you think after you take a bite. Honestly? Honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. Mmm. That is really good. It wasn't that much work. It's not deep fried. I think it was in the oven exactly the right amount of time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We pulled these out right at about 20 minutes. The thighs stayed in there a little bit longer. The thighs are more like 30 minutes. So, anyway. Thanks for coming back to In Judy's Kitchen. We appreciate you guys watching us. Thank you, Dia. Thank you, Judy. Bye.